how much is the competition amped up across the offensive line this spring? Uh, it's definitely a lot. It's picked up a whole bunch. I, um, I'd say since my time being here, it's definitely the most it's ever been. Just numbers-wise and talent-wise, it's amazing. Um, and last year, you, you shifted from left to right and right to left. How difficult was that for you to manage? Uh, it was a bit of a challenge, but just knowing um, Coach Kleiman and, and Coach Riley's faith in me and trust in me, knowing that I'm that I have the talent and the ability to do it just really helped me be able to settle down and just play. How much better are you this spring because of it? Uh, I feel like I've definitely taken a lot of strides this spring, and there's a, I got a long way to go, and I'm just keep chopping down every every day, keep getting better. Uh, are you spending most of your time on the left side or the right side in the spring? Uh, I'm still hopping back and forth, but my majority of the time is at uh, right. Okay. Thanks, Christian. Appreciate it. Derek? Yeah, Christian, and, and most of the time in high school, you were on the right side as well. So has that always been kind of like a comfortable side of the line for you? Uh, yeah, definitely. It's definitely my uh, preferred side. I feel a lot more comfortable on that side. And in terms of some of the offensive linemen that didn't play last year or did, didn't play a whole lot, but are now like among, amongst that competition you're talking about, who are those players that have really kind of taken a jump forward? Um, I'd say just like, well, most of them played a lot last year. Um, you got Carver, Carver Willis, definitely very talented young guy. Um, Taylor Portier, really talented, really explosive guy. Um, Dawson Delforge. Great guy to play a lot. Definitely, it's gonna be be in the mix. Um, just some of those guys and just a lot of people stepping up, you know. Yeah, and then lastly, uh, some of the stuff on social media is like giving out awards, and you were you got like the prize fighter award one time. So, what kind of goes into that, or, or what, what's that award? Um, just our the four core values we talk about as a team um, have been in. in and put it into the spring that we've really focused on. Um, they just kind of pick four, four people, four players out of the out of the team who, sh who showed those attributes during the week. And um, I believe the coaches pick one who was the who they think should have won the prize fighter. All right. Thanks, Christian. Thank you. Kels. Hey, Christian, we, we've all got a pretty good idea what Deuce can do in the backfield, but who else at running back have you really enjoyed blocking for this spring? Oh man, uh, Joe Irving, <laughs> that kid is, he's talented, man. And uh, even Jacardia Wright as well. Um, both of those guys are really explosive, really fast. Um, I mean, you guys all know Deuce, obviously, like you said, but all three of those guys just will be watching film and I'll see a cut they made. And I'm like, there's no way that was even possible. But yeah, all three of those guys are amazing. Um, the, uh, you talked about more competition, more depth, more everything on the offensive line. In what areas do you think that'll help you most next season? Passing game, rushing game? Well, what do you think? Uh, all the above, honestly. I feel like um, just the ability to, to have multiple pieces to put in, like, like a puzzle almost. You know, you, have, you can mix and match it however way you want to. And I think that's being able to have that depth and um, being the kind of offense where you, you run heavy and um, – you put long drives together. I feel like being able to rotate guys out, keep fresh legs on the field. I think that's something that could really be helpful. Is everybody on the line um, rotating at different spots, playing a little guard, playing a little tackle? Uh, I'd, say, I'd, I'd say we we don't. I don't think we'd say we do um, too much just at one position all the way across.